Hey guys, what's up? I'm Mark and welcome to Epic Confections. If you are new here, click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell notification for new Epic videos every single week. Well, 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 it is that time of year that I love. The leaves are starting to change color, the temperature's dropping, and Halloween is just around the corner. Y'all know I love my Halloween and the holiday whore is back. The queen of Halloween is here! I'ma make y'all some Halloween cakes. It's that time of year again. It's time for my Halloween series. Right now, right up until Halloween, I will be making only epic Halloween cakes starting today. Sorry I didn't decorate. I didn't pull my shit out of the closet, okay? Let's calm down, everyone. Next week, I will have this kitchen decorated, okay? This week, I'm gonna be making a spider cake. <sighs> Honestly, I fucking hate spiders. I can't stand them. I hyperventilate, I can't move. I swear, I have arachnophobia. I don't like spiders. So this is actually gonna be a challenge for me. I've never made a spider cake. Let's do it! So I started making some spider legs out of gum paste and I just put some cornstarch down on my counter and I started rolling out some really thin horn shapes, if that makes sense at all. Just gave it a little cut with a knife at the end there and carried on making eight more of these legs. I always made sure to measure the legs to make sure that all of them were even. And then I found some round bottles just from around the house and some toilet paper rolls. And I placed the gum paste on top of them so that they can set overnight. So as you just saw, I started out by making the spider's legs. They are so creepy. They are gum paste, so they are nice and stiff now, somewhat. Yeah, I did let them dry for 24 hours, so I hope that they will stay. Next up, we're going to be creating our spider out of cake and filling it with an ooey gooey Venetian cream so that when you squish it, it's going to explode. You know those spiders with, like, with the really big asses? And if you kill it, unfortunately, and if you like smash it with a newspaper or a shoe, like it just explodes. That's what we're going to be doing here. I know, gross. You're welcome. Let's do it! So, I baked off a 6 inch round white cake and a 4 inch round white cake. I do have a photo here on my phone for reference. I'm going for this wolf spider. Ugh, I can't even look at it. Seriously. Like, I'm getting cold sweat. Anyway, this is a wolf spider. We have them here in Canada. Like, my nipples just went hard. Yeah, that's... I can't do spiders. Anyway, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be building this cake right on this table, so I'm not going to be using a cake board. I literally am just going to be carving it, stacking, creating it right on this table. So let's go ahead. So can you see that? See how it's kind of like shaped like an alien face? Yes. I remember, so true story, there was a spider in my bedroom, on my bed, on my headboard, and I didn't sleep in the bedroom for a week because I tried to kill it and it got away from me. And then I was like, Lord, that spider is seeking sweet revenge and it is gonna bite me while I'm sleeping or I'm gonna eat it while I'm sleeping. So I didn't sleep in that room for a week. I don't know if we ever killed it, but we got his bum bum done. Now, his head is kind of, it's kind of rounded, and then it has a square front. That's odd. Just putting it together creeps me out. Okay, and then, Kind of like in the middle of his head, it looks like it kind of goes in like this. So,
you know what I mean? A little tiny V in there. Ugh. What? It's, it really, it's creeping me out already, and I'm not, I honestly think that I have a phobia. All right, so I'm really happy with that shave. It was a lot easier than I thought. But now the hard part, covering your opponent and lots of detail work to make this look realistic. Let's do it. So I just cleaned my table up a little bit. Next, I'm gonna be filling this with Venetian cream so that when we do squish him, all of his guts will spill out. Ew. So I'm gonna take his bum bum, and I think I'm just gonna kinda cut a hole. I'm not going all the way down. It's kind of like a secret chamber. Like that. I'm gonna fill this secret chamber with Venetian cream. This is the same Venetian cream, which is just like a vanilla custard, that I used in the pimples from the infamous Pimple peat Cake. So, people love this. It smells and tastes fantastic. Just using a spoon, throw some Venetian cream in there. Yes, look at that, that's so nasty. Just to step it up a notch because it's Halloween, I'm gonna add some food coloring in there. I'm gonna take some red food dye, throw a little bit in there, just kind of mix it up. Also taking some green food coloring, putting it in on the other side. Mixing that in as well. Oh, that's nasty. That is gnarly shit right there. Ugh. That's his insides. Okay, just putting that piece of cake back on. And now we're gonna give this guy a crumb coat and then cover him in fondant. Let's do it. So a little trick, if you have a super moist cake, and you start carving it, you wanna give it a crumb coat, and you find that when you put your buttercream on, the buttercream is kinda of taking off some of that cake. Dip your spatula in with a little bit of buttercream, throw it in some hot water, and that should just glide right on there. Yes. A little bit of confectioner sugar. Usually I would use cornstarch. I didn't have any on hand. Um, I just find cornstarch doesn't absorb as quickly into the bonnet as confectioner sugar does. Uh, but either works. Either one works. Just giving my fondant a little knead before I roll it out. So just grabbing that fondant and rolling it back onto my rolling pin. And then just draping it right over the spider. Just taking a really sharp knife and just cutting around my fondant. Next, we're gonna start giving this guy some texture and we're gonna paint him and then we're gonna stick his legs on and then we're gonna squish him and then we're gonna just Squish the shit right out of them. Literally. <sighs> Sorry. Let's do it. Okay, so next I'm gonna start giving him some texture. I do have a few Wilton fondant tools here. I do also have some clay sculpting tools here. On his bum, I'm just gonna start making all these little tiny dots. Just with this little clay tool here. This is probably gonna take me six hours, so um, how y'all doing? So I'm really happy with the way that this texture turned out. I think it's really cool. 
really creepy. It's actually creeping, <laughs> creeping me out right now. Um, I'm gonna give this a base coat of ivory. Americolor ivory. I am gonna water it down though before I paint it. I am keeping some paper towel handy and just dabbing off any of the excess that I have. So using that same water, I'm adding in a little bit of chocolate brown. So I'm just placing this randomly so that some of that dark color gets into those little tiny grooves that we made all the way around the spider. I'm not painting the entire spider, just randomly. And just taking our towel and just dabbing off that excess. We're just trying to build up some color here on him. And we're gonna do really dark brown this time. I need to charge my battery, so I'll be back soon. So whilst my battery was charging, I went ahead and painted the legs. And I kind of darkened up his head a little bit. And now I'm going to splatter a little bit of that chocolate brown onto his back. So just taking a small piece of black fondant, just rolling it out into a little tiny cylinder. And I'm gonna take these individually and roll them into a little ball each. So I'm just picking up these eyes and I am gonna place them like so. I am gonna add a little bit of water to them to make them shine. Just putting the water on the tip of my tool here. Look at that, they are shining. So next I'm gonna work on his little two fangs there. And I just have some white fawn in here. Just rolling it out into a little cylinder. And just cutting two even pieces. Well, actually I'm cutting that half in half. <laughs> just attaching it like so. And we're just gonna give him a little paint job here. So you can tell here by the time lapse that my legs were kind of collapsing, they weren't really working out. I think it's because the gum paste didn't really harden up as I was expecting. But I still love it, I think it turned out great. So here it is guys, here is the squished spider cake. I am completely grossed out. I really still hate spiders. I can't stand them even looking at this. Gives me the wellies and not the good kind. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you like what you saw, click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell notification for new epic Halloween videos every single week right up until Halloween. Thank you so much, y'all. Thank you so much to Mariposa Market for sponsoring this video. And I will see all of you ghouls and gals next week. Mwah! Time to dig in, I guess. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs>
they never touched the floor, so you're welcome. Ugh, this is really creeping me out. <coughs> I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. The holiday horn is back. The queen of Halloween.